Thank you for joining us this morning. I'm Marilee Moore and live in studio with us is John Sullivan, who's going to be playing at the Big Rock Tournament tonight in Moorhead City. First of all, thanks for waking up early. No problem. Thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, absolutely. So you're going to be at Big Rock tonight and he told me you've actually been there a lot of the week. How's it been so far? Just being able to watch it all happen. It's been pretty awesome. The first uh, first day was slow. The second day and the third day, I think we were pretty quick. Yesterday was pretty slow again, but it's always cool to see, you know, the big fish the big marlin that they pull in and, and stuff like that. I'm not actually playing for like the big rock. Mm -hmm. I'm just playing at Shuck and Shack tonight eight, from seven to 10. I think they have another event there from eight to 11 or something, but that's well, not me. I know you're definitely going to be grabbing some of those people though, <laughs> from the tournament. Thank that's you. why I say at the big rock tournament, because you know, if you're going to be over course, there today, this is the guy that you want to come see tonight. And let's give people a little taste of who you are, what you're all about. I know that your influences have been Pink Floyd and Hendrix. How did you get into this kind of music? Yeah, well, um, it's funny because I start thinking about that myself. But when I was a kid, um, my dad used to play all the 50s and 60s and all the classic rock going to, uh, to work in the morning and uh, when he was taking us to school. And uh, I guess when I got older, I started playing the piano around four, and um, I gave it up around 17. Um, wanted to play the guitar, but never really got into it because I was playing baseball. And then uh, baseball wound up running its course, and guitar kind of filled that void for me. And when I found myself learning about it, I knew it was, you know, that was the stuff I had to go back to was my roots, the, the oldies, or whatever you want to call it, classic timeless hits, and, you know, the Grateful Dead, the band, Bob Dylan. Um, Pink Floyd with the full band, you know, I would say we have that kind of an influence, but solo, it's more like a singer-songwriter type thing, so. And I, uh, I read somewhere that it was when you started picking up the guitar that that's when you really got into songwriting, is that correct? Yeah, it's, it actually, you know, I started writing to the uh, guitar, the, the uh, tone, you know, developing words out of what it sounded like the guitar was saying almost, as crazy as that sounds, and put stuff together, so. Interesting. I've never heard someone say it that way, that they try to hear what the guitar is saying and put lyrics yeah. to that. How, how do you put that into words, what the noises that your guitar is making? Well, I, I think, you, you know, I've, you've probably heard people say you can hear music in mostly anything, and especially if it's an instrument. I mean, it sounds like it talks to you. So when you get, you know, inspired by something and you sit down and start to write or, or play, and then all of a sudden you start hearing maybe if it was singing to you what you would you know, maybe interpret as what it's saying, you know, as it's singing. I don't know, it's hard to explain, just kind of a... Deep, th deep words are coming uh, out of this man this morning. It's a little uh, early for my small brain to comprehend. But speaking of your original music, uh, in a little bit before we go to break, you will get a chance to play as one of your original songs. But before we get into that, why don't you tell us a little bit about how that song came to be? Um, what I'm looking for, actually, I got into uh, reading some spiritual stuff and... Uh, actually the Bhagavad Gita, I don't know if you know, it's Hinduism, and after I read it, I kind of had a sort of um, good feeling about it, and I was writing a song one day and started writing about, you know, how to, my interpretation of life and things like that, just came together in a song and put it in there, and the band liked it, and we played it together and recorded it, that's about it. So we're about to hear a very inspirational song. Well, a minute of it, I guess. So, something that sounds very personal to you, at yeah, least. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Well, why don't you go ahead and give us a taste of that right All now. Right, we're going to sure. break, but here's a little taste of what you'll get from John Sullivan tonight at the Shuck and Shack Oyster Bar Shuck in Moorhead Shack. City. So Thank you. Take it away, John. Tried my best to stay within these lines, but even lines at times on the street. The more I walk down these crooked roads, Easier my soul to spot a fate. There's a girl sitting there with a coffee in the morning. She came in without warning while I lay in my bed. And she's sitting on the edge, staring at a picture. Says she knows my sister, and I wish that I was dead. What I'm looking for first don't feel like home, makes me feel all alone. What I'm looking for, oh, I don't understand. Lord knows I'm a simple man, demons of my own woe. 